What's going on guys? It's Tommy here. Oh, surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys what you need to do before selling your iPhone or giving it away or anything similar to that. We don't want to leave any personal information behind and we want to make sure that your soon-to-be ex phone is completely erased and ready for its new owner. These steps are fairly simple and it shouldn't take too much time. I looked up other videos on YouTube and I I really wasn't impressed by them. That is why I decided to make my own video and show you guys step by step and make it very easy to understand. Another reason why I'm making this video is because I am selling my iPhone 7 Plus. If you've been around the channel for a while, you know that I've made tons of videos on this phone right here. It will be missed. I'm selling the phone for around $425 to $450 just in case anyone was wondering. By the way guys, if this video helps you out in any way, please smash that like button. It really does help out a lot. Please consider subscribing as well. I do my best to release helpful videos for you guys. Anyways, having said that, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is if you have an Apple Watch, you're going to want to unpair the Apple Watch. To do that, you're going to want to go into the Apple Watch app. Now, I don't have an Apple Watch, so I can't show you guys the process of that. I will have instructions in the description below if you do have an Apple Watch and you're a little bit stuck. It is fairly easy to do, but like I said, instructions will be in the description below. The second thing you're going to want to do is back up your iPhone. You could either do this on a computer or you can do this in settings with iCloud. So once you're settings you're gonna to want to click your name obviously this one is my Chinese one if you've seen my PUBG video then you know why I have that Apple ID in Chinese that's fucking illegal anyways once you're here you want to hit iCloud once you're in iCloud you're gonna to want to scroll all the way down until you see iCloud backup which is right over here under find my iPhone go ahead and click on that all you're gonna to want to do is just make sure iCloud backup is on and then you can hit backup now. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this step since I don't need to back up the phone. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is turn off Find My iPhone. So go back into settings, click on your name, and there's two ways of doing this. You could either go through iCloud or you can just click on your device down here. We're just gonna go ahead and click on the device. And then you'll see that the first option is Find My iPhone. Go ahead and click into that. Once you have done that, you'll see find my iPhone right over here, go ahead and toggle that off. You'll be required to enter your Apple ID password. Once you have entered your password, go ahead and click the turn off button. You'll get this little prompt right here saying turning off find my iPhone. Once that has finished up, find my iPhone will now be turned off. So after you turn off find my iPhone, you're gonna wanna go back into settings, click on your name, scroll all the way down until you see the sign out button on the bottom. You're gonna wanna sign out of your Apple ID. So just go ahead and hit sign out. I actually completely forgot about this step. I skipped it over, I'm not too sure why. I barely noticed right now while editing. I just wanted to make sure I covered this step. At the time of recording this clip, I have already sold the 7 Plus. I have not received any messages from the buyer so I do not think this step is required as long as you follow the rest of the steps. Anyways back to the original video. Alright guys so the next thing you're gonna want to do is erase all the settings and content on your device. Again go back into settings. From settings go to general. From general scroll all the way down until you see a reset button which is right over here. Go ahead and click into that. Once you're in the reset menu you're gonna want to click erase all content and settings. So it's this second one. Go ahead and click into that you'll get a pop-up like this. It's just saying that some content is getting uploaded to iCloud. This isn't my main iCloud account, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hit erase now. You'll be asked to enter your phone passcode. Go ahead and enter that. You'll be asked one more time, erase iPhone. Click on that button. You'll be asked if you are sure you want to continue. I'm gonna go ahead and hit erase iPhone since we know we are sure. Once you've done that, it's going to go ahead and proceed to erase all your settings and any personal information you have on your phone. So we're going to go ahead and wait for this to finish up and then we'll be back as soon as that has finished. So as you guys can see, it went ahead and reset the entire phone. We're back to when you first purchase an iPhone, you just get the hello in different languages. But that's basically it for the phone. All you need to do now is just go ahead and turn off the phone by holding the power button. 
So we'll go ahead and turn off the phone. All right guys, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the phone from your iCloud account. To do that, you're gonna wanna go into the iCloud.com website. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to my laptop so I can show you guys that really quick. So once you're on the iCloud website, go ahead and enter your information right over here. Once you have, go ahead and click this arrow to uh, log in. Go ahead and let that load up. Once you're logged in, go to settings. Go ahead and click into that. We're gonna go ahead and hit not now. And once you're in, you'll notice right here on the bottom, my devices. If you have multiple devices, just go ahead and find the one that you're trying to remove, which in this case, this is the only one, iPhone 7 Plus. So we're gonna go ahead and click into that. Once you do that, you'll be brought to this window right over here. You'll notice a blue X right next to your device. Go ahead and click that blue X. Then you'll get this pop-up right over here, just confirming that you do want to remove the phone from your iCloud. So all you're going to want to do is hit remove right over here next to the cancel button. So we're going to go ahead and click that button. And as you guys can see, there's no more devices. We just completed that part. And that's basically it when it comes to removing your iDevice from your iCloud. Super simple. Now there's still one last thing that we need to do with the phone. So we'll go ahead and take care of that right now. All right guys, so the last thing you're gonna wanna do is remove your SIM card. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I do think that all the SIM cards will be on the right side of the iPhone. So you'll see a little hole where the SIM card is, and what you're gonna wanna do is get a paper clip stretch it out like this and then you're gonna want to just insert it into that little hole that's what she said <laughs> and then just push down on it until you hear a little click just like that it's not really gonna be a click but you'll see it move out a little bit. It should look like this, and then just go ahead and remove it and take out the SIM card. As you guys saw, it just fell out. Once you've done that, just put the SIM card holder back in the slot, and you'll be good to go. But that sums up the video. If it was helpful, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at TommyEverything, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.